telling everybody for the past 240 years, if Yen can cook, so can you. Today, I'm adding, so can kids. When I was a kid, I loved to cook. Instead of a bicycle, I wanted one of these from my mother. <laughs> this is a helmet for my bicycle. This is definitely the most wonderful, most beautiful, and the most mature audience I have in the past 200 years on my television career. Look at how beautiful. You Give yourself a big hand. The first thing I want to do is something that I learned when I was eight years old. <laughs> that was five years ago. <laughs> I learned what my mother called wonton soup. Everybody should do it because you can use it just like a Chinese ravioli, okay? Here, what I have is all these ingredients. I have some ground pork. You can use ground beef. You can have some Water chestnut, let me show you the water chestnut. Okay, water chestnut, ground beef, or ground pork, I put it over here. Actually, you should not put it on the cutting board, you should put it in a bowl, like this. Okay? <laughs> or if you have a lot of energy, go, ha! <laughs> and then, also, I have some green onion, okay? And also, have some white pepper, and sesame seed oil because you gotta season this. In the meantime, I have to cut this up. I'm too young to use this. <laughs> I use this. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. <laughs> tuk, 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 tuk. <laughs> Isn't that exciting? And then you put them all together. And then you put this down, you transfer it like this. Okay, and then if you want, you can even use one of these to chop your water chestnut. All you have to do is go like this. While you're watching Sesame Street. <laughs> Look at this. Look at how easy. You go like this, like this. <laughs> In the meantime, oh, this is perfect. I'm gonna put this over here and mix it up with a tiny bit of sesame seed oil and white pepper because you have to marinate this, okay? Put them all together. And then the important thing is you can also use a tiny bit of soy sauce. Look at this, soy sauce and a tiny, tiny bit of egg white, you see? Make it easier. Move it around with a chopstick or with a spoon. When I was growing up, my mom taught me how to use a fork and spoon. I did not learn how to use chopstick when I was 12 years old. That was seven years ago. <laughs> Look at this. Okay, put them all together, set it aside. Then the next thing I want to show you is we're going to heat up some water or broth. And I want to show you how to fold the wonton. Folding wonton is a great experience, okay? Whenever you hold this, take enough out, the rest you should wrap it up because this way it will dry it out. So you wrap it up and you keep it. <laughs> I have this here for the past 200 years. <laughs> and then, this is how you do it. You use a little spoon. Everybody should learn how to do this. Put a spoon, put it right here. Okay, I wanna show you. Egg white, and you fold it like this. Look at this, you see this? Fold this into a triangle, like this. Okay, everybody look. And then you use a tiny bit of egg white or water. You put it right over here at the corner. You twist this. Now you have one ton. You see? Yeah. This is one ton. This is two ton. <laughs> this is three ton. Four ton. We have four tons here. <laughs> now, make sure this is hot, and then you put the one ton, particularly when you make one ton soup, you put the one ton right over here. One ton is wonderful in soup. You put it over here, let it cook for a little while, use a little slotted spoon. Pick it out when it's done. And then when it's done, it would look like this. Look at this. 
Not like this. Looks like this. Very nice because you can cook this ahead of time. Look at how beautiful. And then you get ready a bowl to make one ton soup. This is gonna be the bowl. When this is done, it takes about two minutes or so. Then you scoop out the one that's already cooked. Keep it in water. Then you put two, two ton, three ton, four ton, five ton. It depends on how hungry you are. I am very hungry. Are you hungry today? Yes. We have six tons. Oh, look at this. We have six tons. I'm gonna remove these and put it aside. And then scoop some of these broth, chicken broth right in here. We'll make one ton soup. Now, aside from that, you also want to put a tiny, tiny bit. I want to remove these first. I want to show you, you also want to put in a tiny, tiny bit of green onion and a tiny bit of soy sauce. Look at this, how beautiful. Now, I want to show you something that you have never seen this. Let me remove these. This weighs one ton, giant one ton. Look at this. Since, <laughs> since we have a show for the kids only, so let's play a music video. Just kidding. Let us look at something with a message. Some people look into a crystal ball. Me, I tell fortune the old fashioned way. I look at these fortune cookies. Let me see. This one is so lousy. You can have it. The great thing about this, if you don't like what you see, you can always have a second chance. Let's see what I have in this one. This one is even worse. Let me pick up this one. Hopefully, we have a better fortune. Unfortunately, this one don't even have a fortune. I am looking for a fortune here. Oh, this one is absolutely wonderful. It's great. Unfortunately, I can't tell you on television. Look at this. I'm holding a medicine in my own hand. I'm sharing with you all my good fortune in this wheel of fortune. Let me see and look at this giant fortune cookie and see what we have here. Wow, they must have an important message inside. This one said, you now have to rush back to the studio. Goodbye. Now, I make a couple of friends down in the fortune cookie venture. Will you please welcome Lily and Emily. We got you this from the Fortune Cookie Factory. Fortune Cookie Factory. Let me see what kind of fortune I have here. Wow. What is this? This is only, this is not a fortune inside. Let me put it over here so everybody can see. Let me see what my fortune is. It is not a fortune. It is a bill for the 435 fortune cookie I broke when I was there. <laughs> Unbelievable. Cost me $1,245. Absolutely cost me a fortune. Maybe that's the reason why they call them fortune cookie. Yeah. <laughs> now, let's come over here. We're going to do something exciting, OK? Here, what are we going to do? We're going to do wonderful golden chicken drumnet, right? Here, we have 12 to 14 drumnet here. Did you try this before at home? You told me both Lily and Emily, you told me you like this. So I decided we get all this ready for you. Here, we have drumnet already marinated. And I am going to coat it with flour, OK? While I'm coating with this, you're going to put in egg white, beat up the egg white, OK? Here, I have about one cup of chopped walnut and also half a cup of with germ and also have some of these breadcrumb, okay? Also cornflake, this is cornflake, this is wheat germ. If you miss breakfast, this is just as nutritious. Okay, put it Should over I mix here. It up? Should I mix this up? Yeah, why don't you go ahead and mix it up. Here, the marinade. 
I marinate the chicken with three tablespoons of soy sauce, and also four teaspoons of garlic. And also, we also marinated with about one teaspoon. Yeah, go ahead, because we have a lot. You both like this, and also everybody in the audience, like, I'm quite sure everybody like it. Anybody like it? Raise your hand, please. See, everybody. Good, we have enough, because we have 245 here. We'll put it over here. Also, I marinated with a tiny bit of pepper and green onion. I marinated for about two hours. And then, we'll do this and put it over there. You can put them a little bit apart so you don't have to get stuck so much. Then, put a tiny bit more. So we have five of these. Besides, we have been cooking all day long. Now, put it over here. Egg white, slightly bit it up a little bit. Okay, and then coat it with all these wonderful nutritious stuff. And then after that, you have to bake it in your oven for approximately 25 minutes. Now, if you are too short, if you're not tall enough to get in the oven, make sure you ask your mom, your daddy, or your grandmom, or your granddaddy, or your uncle, <laughs> or your aunt to open the oven for you. You stuck in it. <laughs> Isn't that? Isn't that? Why don't we? Lily, why don't you do me a favor? Let's put this over there and see what we have over there. In the meantime, Lily, give me a hand. We're gonna just put this at the back. Okay, let's put this over here. And then, now, everybody know. Let's, how, how we doing over there, Lily? Lily, look at this. Let's come over. Very, very careful. Look at how beautiful this is. This, look at how beautiful. Let's come through. You see that? Lily, please take this and put it over there. Let's put this over here. So this way, everybody is hot, hot, hot. Put it over there. The most important thing is, cooking is so much fun. But make sure you share it with your parents. That way, they don't feel left out. So don't do it by yourself. You make sure you tell your parent what you're gonna do, what you like to do. Let's put them all together. Let's put them all together. Put one more. And then we will show everybody how beautiful. Look at this. Isn't that beautiful? Look at this. And then we will come over here. We'll show everybody another one of your favorite. Let's come over here so everybody can do it. Now, what are we gonna do here? We're gonna do a glazed sesame meatballs, okay? Now, here, what we have here is some ground pork. We have one pound of ground pork and about two tablespoons of hoisin sauce, some cornstarch, and also green onion. And if you have green onion, you can chop up some green. This is ginger. I have one tablespoon of ginger and one teaspoon of this orange peel, okay? And also, we have some water chestnut already ground up. If you don't have water chestnut, you can use some hickoma. Have you, have you ever heard of hickoma? Me neither. <laughs> so don't worry. <laughs> and then we put the meatball ingredient here and here. And then you can help me to put this two tablespoon of hoisin sauce and all this ingredient. Put it in for me. Okay? And I'm going to mix it up. Yeah, put it in. Put the hoisin sauce. This is hoisin sauce. Okay, this is two tablespoons of hoisin sauce that I put in. Uh, put in some of those. This is one tablespoon of dry sherry, one to two tablespoons of dry sherry. You see, you gotta work together. Let's put it back over here. Okay, also put a tiny bit of ginger. Yeah, put them all in, soy sauce. One tablespoon of soy sauce and put in all of these ingredients. Let's mix it in. Let's mix it in. Let's make this in. Sesame seed oil, good. Also. Put a tiny, tiny bit of cornstarch. Look at this. Can you see that? Now, Emily, do you help your parents to cook at home? Yes. How often do you cook? A lot. She says she cook a lot. I believe Emily. How about you, Lily? Yeah. Yeah? How often? A yes. Lot. <laughs> a lot. How about you? A lot? Now, the next thing I want to show you is we're going to make the... Um, we are going to make the meatball. Now, I'm quite sure you have done this many, many times, like many of the people here. Let's move this around so everybody, let's go ahead and make the meatball. 
After we make the meatball, we put over here, we can glaze these. Go ahead and make the meatball because we have a lot of hungry children over here. Okay, let's make the meatball. In the meantime, I am going to, yeah, you just use your hand to make the meatball okay, because okay. that's the way to do it. Okay, in the meantime, I'm going to heat up this wok and this frying pan because I'm going to glaze the meatball when it's done. Here, I have approximately three tablespoons of lemon juice and about two tablespoons of brown sugar. Are you having fun or what? Yeah. Yes. They are having fun. Me too. Working with Emily and Lily make me feel like I am only 11 years old. <laughs> and put it over here. And then bring it to a boil. This is wonderful. How many of this meatball do you think you can do and you can eat? Now, if you are hungry, you can make gigantic meatball. Emily, please pass my meatball. This is my meatball. I am so hungry. This is my meatball. <laughs> Look at this. I got big mouth. <laughs> I'm going to save it for myself. When the meatball is ready, you both do a marvelous job. When the meatball is done, we'll put over here. Lily is a little bit hungrier than Emily. <laughs> so Lily have medium meatball, and Lily have Emily have little meatball, and I have gigantic meatball. Now, safety rule. When you do it in the kitchen, always turn the pot or the pan handle away from the counter. Never go like this, because when you do that, just in case you walk around, you'll knock it off, so it can be dangerous. Secondly, very important, is when you pick up a cooking utensil, always make sure you feel it is not too hot. Then you pick it up, because it can get very dangerous. Lily, what else do you remember about handling pots and pens? Pad. Always remember. This is a lily pet. <laughs> Isn't that wonderful? Let's put all the meatball here and put all the meatball here. And when it's done, it will look really nice. You see how wonderful it is? In the last minute, when it's all done, you know what you can do? All you have to do is sprinkle. Let's sprinkle a tiny bit of sesame seed. Let's hold on to the sprinkle a tiny bit of sesame seed here. Look at this. Sprinkle the sesame seed. This way, it gives that nice glazed meatball some character. One thing about kids, they love to smile. So let's take a look. Nothing is more precious than the faces of healthy and beautiful children. Aren't they adorable? I have an extended family in China. These are all my nieces and nephews. Oh, look, that's the same outfit I had when I was a little kid. This one has TV personality. He's going to take over the Yen Ken Cook show someday. How do you like all my nieces and nephews? Now you know where I get my smile. Now, Lily and Emily, you both told me that you love cookies. I don't know whether you love sesame or almond or the cookies. Cookie. Cookie. So we will make sesame or almond cookie with something even more exciting. We're going to use some of these sparkle thing. Now, first of all, in this particular thing, we've got to make the dough first for the cookie, OK? Here, we're going to put this out. This is a food processor. And we'll put the flour, all this ingredient, OK? Shifted, shifted flour. Put it over here. Use about two cups of flour. Okay, ask your mom to do it. Don't do it yourself, okay? <laughs> and then sugar. I use approximately three quarters, about two-thirds of a cup of sugar. You can use a little bit more if you want, because it will be a little bit sweeter. And also, if you want, you can also use a tiny bit of brown sugar. And use a tiny bit of vegetable shortening. Now, before you add that, you should put this in first. Put a tiny, tiny bit of baking soda. I use approximately half a teaspoon of baking soda. And also use about three quarter teaspoon of baking powder. Okay, put it in, mix them all up, nice and even like this. Okay, can you see that? Now, and then you put one egg, and then put one egg. Why is it colored like that? Ah, because this is brown egg. Sometimes you can buy white egg. Sometimes this is brown egg. You can find this in most supermarket this day. And also put. Are you having fun? <laughs> they said they are having fun. Yes. And then, after that, we are going to do this. the brown this. sugar. 
Oh, yeah. Sorry hey. about this. Brown sugar. Because this is what makes the food, the almond cookie, a little bit nice and golden brown. Thank you for reminding me. This is wonderful. And then, look at this. Wow. Unbelievable. Make it into a dough. It takes a few minutes. About one to two minutes until you got a nice dough. Look at this. Isn't it wonderful? Isn't it fun? <laughs> When it's ready, until you see the dough coming out like this, like a little big meatball coming out. Can you see that? This is ready. So we pause. Try it one more time. This is what you call pause. How many of you at home ask your parent to make this kind of cookie? Please raise your hand. Oh, everybody. We have some mature kids over there. Also raise their hand. OK, when it's done, you will get this out. And I want to show you, if you want the flavor, you can also add a tiny, tiny bit of almond extract. But you can also have vanilla extract. See, now this is all wonderful and ready. And since we have done some of these, and we're going to put some of it because we have 5,500 kids in the studio. So we're going to make a whole lot of cookies. Please, Emily and Lily, go for Go for it. Make some cookie. Some small, some big, some medium. Because <laughs> some people like big cookies, some people like small cookie. Somebody's like, let's do We are going to make cookie. Isn't that fun? <laughs> make small cookie. How often do you make cookie at home? Lot. A lot. Me too. What is your lot? Every day? Every hour? Every, every week. minute? Every week. How many of you here make cookies at home every week? Raise your hand one more time. Oh, four, five, or six people. Now, put it over here, and then well, let's put it over there because we're going to coat this. Now, today we'll have sparkle. Look at all these sparkle. We have red, orange sparkle, green sparkle. What is this? Emily, Sprinkle. what is this? Sprinkles. Sprinkle. We have sparkle, we have sprinkle, we have green sparkle, red sparkle, um, multicolor sprinkles. <laughs> What's <laughs> this? Get me confused. What's this? Oh, this is black sesame seed. How many of you have seen this? This is sesame seed. Have you ever seen this? Look at this. Sesame seed, this is black sesame seed. Look at the color change. This is regular sesame seed. When you put this in, it turned black. OK? <laughs> this is the natural color. You do not dump this into ink and then turn into black. <laughs> now, let's make a little bit more. And then, how many do we need? OK? After that, let's put some sparkle over there. Let's dip this into sparkle, OK? Let's put over there, sparkle. How many of you know that you can make fortune cookie at home too? How many of you know you can make fortune cookie at home? Everybody. How many of you know that you can make almond cookie? Let me show you how easy to make almond cookie. You have one cookie here, OK? And then you put this almond right on top, OK? You can put it like this. If you don't like it, you can put it like this. Or if you don't like it, <laughs> you can make it like a little rabbit. Wow, how cute. <laughs> rabbit cookie. And then put it over there. Let's put it over there. Let's do some sparkle. Let's do some sparkle over there. Let's go ahead and sprinkle some sparkle. Or all we have to do is, yeah, that's, look at this. All you have to do is just dip it in here. Look at this. You see that? Then this way, you can have a little sparkle like this when the cookie is done. Now, Emily, let's go over there and take these over there in the oven and let it bake for approximately a 350 degree for eight to nine minutes. Let's put some more, put some of these with sesame seed. Let's coat it. Let's coat this. Are you having fun, Lily and Emily? Yes. yes. Good. They are having fun. I am having fun. They are having fun. Are you having fun? Yes. Oh, good. We are all having fun. Good. Now, after this, also some of these you can put, you can put for a couple of those, just put uh, almond. Now, oh, wonderful, because Emily have created something very new. Look at this. Emily have <laughs> been so creative, have created something with not only sesame seed, but almond. Emily, let's go over there and get the cookie. I like fortune cookie so much that I brought enough for everybody in the studio. So let's see what we have got. Everybody look at your fortune and make sure to tell me all your fortune. Everybody?
Then we are gonna. Oh, let's get this. Let's put it over here. Let's put it over here. Oh, let us look. How does your fortune look? Everybody have a good time. This is the cookie we just make. Lily and Emily just make. Thank you very much, Lily and Emily. We had a lot of fun today, and I hope you do too. So get your kids involved in the kitchen. Share the fun of cooking with them. Who knows, maybe one day they'll take over the Yen Can Cook Show. Meanwhile, remember, if Yen Can Cook, so can, can you. you. Georgie. <laughs>